through the tenure of being here, have been able to um, uh, be honored with coming into so many people's lives and they've let, let me or honored me into coming into their homes or wherever they may be to tell their story and listen to them as, as not only subjects behind the camera or in front of the camera but also uh, becoming friends and uh, I like that part. It's only through looking back at the photographs do you have kind of a visual diary and the one thing I've really found out in the last uh, week or two or three of going through a lot of these old photographs is that uh, you may forget some of the names, but when you look at the picture, you remember the vibe of what was going on at the time. And to me, that's really important because you kind of uh, uh, can relate to, to the story that was being told at the time. You know, and, and, and going and, and when everything was, couldn't see anything, I just go out into nature and, and really love just putting on the macro lens and getting into the small world and losing myself inside that. And I gotta admit, it may be a little selfish on my part, but when I have a bad day, um, the Columbian has been my counselor through the little eyepiece of a camera where I can just have my quiet time, go out in the woods somewhere and find a, a, a dew drop on a leaf or a spider, you know, spinning a web or, or you know, a, a squirrel playing with, you know, his winter nuts or, you know, whatever. It's just, it's, it's, it's just been so gratifying and so magical. Of course, the biggest story impact-wise to our community in the area was the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Um, that was extremely uh, exciting and uh, tragic for us here at the Columbian. Uh, not only for how we covered the event, uh, meaning that we just went wherever we could. We were supposed to be in the air on rotation as much as we could. Uh, but we lost a photographer, Reed Blackburn, in the eruption, and then another photographer who subsequently had uh, left the paper in freelance for National Geographic, but he was still part of our fam photographic family here, was Ralph Perry, and uh, his helicopter crashed, uh, I think that was like about four years after the eruption, something like that. So the, the mountain had uh, quite an impact on uh, not only us here, but personally. And other things that were very memorable, uh, I think, uh, by pure um, circumstance, uh, meeting and uh, being good friends with Bill Walton, who is, you know, NBA uh, legend now. At the time, he was uh, the, the Portland Trailblazers had uh, taken him on as a as a center, which I think most people know, and, and brought them a world championship. Uh, and and. One quick little anecdote about Bill was I thought it was so awesome. The very day that they won the championship and everybody in the whole area was going crazy and just, you know, partying in the streets, I went over to his house after the, after the game and he showed up at the house and he just hung out for a while with his friends. And then, if I remember right, and this is what I thought was so awesome, was that unbeknownst to him at the time, which would have been a few weeks prior to them winning, uh, he had made a commitment, I think, to go to a little uh, birthday party of a friend up the street. And so, so instead of the championship night of everybody going crazy and being with his teammates, at least for part of it, he had gone up to this birthday party because that was his commitment, and I thought that was really cool. You know, thanks to the Columbian and, and, and thanks to the Campbell family who uh, took a chance on me at, from the age of 19 and, and I still feel 19. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, it's been very gratifying and uh, this is not a retirement. It's, I'm, I'm quitting because uh, it just felt right to do for no specific reason other than it just felt right to do. And uh, I can go on with some of the projects I feel I chief. So thank you very much to everyone in Clark County, <laughs> Washington State, United States, planet Earth. <laughs> Thanks. Aloha. <laughs>